Well, hello, friends. I want to welcome you to How We Got the Bible. This is a special webinar. I am Bishop Andy C. Luter, and I've had the good fortune, pleasure, and privilege of delivering this particular webinar, How We Got the Bible, both at the uh, University of Yale and Hampton University here of late, and I am so delighted to be sharing this particular webinar with you. Let's begin here, and I pr pray that you would give me just a few moments to share with you, in my estimation, why this study is so very important. First of all, friends, there is a growing level of biblical literacy in most of the congregations across America. There was a time when people only knew what the pulpit said as it related to both God and the Bible. Of course, during the Middle Ages, people didn't know what the Bible said. They only knew what the priest said that the Bible said. However, this is a different day, a different time. And with all of the biblical resources that are available today, uh, no longer can we just say anything from the pulpit with Google handheld devices and so many other tools uh, that relate to the Bible. Um, we are held to a higher standard of accountability. In any given Sunday, when the pastor quotes a particular passage of scripture, there very well may be five, six, even seven different translations that's being read by the various people in that congregation. This study is important because it helps to explain the various translations that we come in contact with every week. And then I also want to argue that this study is important because it helps to defend us against critics and cynics who would use the material and the information that we're going to talk about today in a negative fashion. All right, that uh, allows us to move on just a little bit further. And I want to kind of continue this discussion on why this is important. The Bible is our sacred literature. And let me say at this juncture that nothing that I say over the course of these next several minutes is intended or designed to disturb the placement of the Bible as your sacred literature. I will confess to you that I'm looking at the Bible, approaching the Bible from a historical perspective, and I'm looking at the historical development of the Bible, not so much its faith value. Um, I'm not going to deal, uh, there is a course that I teach on modern literary criticism where I talk about high criticism, low criticism. I talk about the Yahwistic, the Eloistic, the Deuteronomic, and the priestly documents in the Old Testament, the Mark and source, the Q source, the sign source, the discourse source in the New Testament, those are pre-literary stages of the Bible. But this study is going to concentrate on the Bible once written, once it was reduced to writing. What was the path, historical path, that it took to get to where we are today? And of course, um, that will have a great deal to do with the notions of inerrancy and literalism. Uh, let me just do this exercise in your hearing. Uh, if I were to ask 